Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. In today's tip, I wanted to try out this program that I had heard about called Mobilize. As you know, as you might know, since you've probably been here before, or if this is your first time being here, I like to write my code line by line. But I can't deny the simple things that this can do for me. For example, I can do, I can't, I really would, it would take me a while to do this parallax and some of the other features, for instance, in this case, uh, I wanna add um, some cards here. Let's go ahead and add these cards. And in this case, if I wanted to edit it, I would be able to add a background image easily or even a background video easily without having the code. So some, some reasons it's a good idea to have, but, there's one thing that I want to be able to do that I can't do easily, or at least without paying a lot of money, um, is I want to be able to lift these three cards from the background, and I want to be able to give it a little radial border here. Um, so uh, I can't do that from, from Mobilize without going into the CSS itself. Now, if I were to add the extension here, that extension, the code editor, is $69. Now, it wouldn't be a normal issue for me, except that uh, it only works on two computers. So if you have a license, uh, you would have to uh, purchase it again if you have more than two computers. Now, in my particular case, I, I like to code on no matter what computer I'm on, or sometimes I like to um, reinstall the OS. So uh, this kind of limits me, and besides, all the code editors I have are free, like Sublime and TextEdit, and so I want to be able to have a free a free option for Mobilize also. Now, here's the way that I did it. Uh, I installed this Google Analytics, which is free. When you go to the My Sites and Preferences area here, you'll see the Google Analytics area, and it says here, paste your Google Analytics code snippet here, or paste any other code that you want on every page. So um, it'll happen after the body tag, but if you put style, for instance, like this, and style like this, and press OK, and then click Preview, what you'll see is that when I say uh, View Source, I have the style area right here. Now it says Google Analytics because that's the uh, extension, but basically this will work everywhere, okay? So what, uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how to edit this code here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the inspector in Chrome, and I believe other browsers also have inspectors. So we're gonna click inspect, and then we're going to use our little selector here and come to our card box. Now to make sure we have the right selector, we're going to edit a couple of these. So uh, let's try this one here. And now we know that we're on the right selector. So we're going to right click, oops, let's click on it once here and right click and say copy. And then what we're going to do is, since this is live on Chrome, we can see what we're going to put. So I want a little bit of radius. So border radius is 7px. And our, uh, let's see, box shadow is going to be uh, 3px, 3px. And then let's try 20px and then RGBA because I want a little bit of uh, separation or at least a little bit of um, transparency 0, 0, 0. 0.4 works for me um, if I wanted a little less let's try three two one now let's try let's try two two so it looks good it's very so it's slightly there and it looks like it's going to be tasteful but it still gives a lot of separation here okay so now that we have that information in and we've already copied our classes we're going to come back to mobilize and we're going to go to the my sites and then to the settings and in our style area here we just pasted the classes that we copied earlier and so now we're going to actually continue our css so we wanted uh 
border radius of 7px and we wanted a box shadow of uh, 3px, 3px, 20px of spread and RGBA of 0, 0, 0, 0.2 I believe is what we had. Let's go back and check. Yes, it's 0.2 and so we press OK to save our changes. Now the only thing is that you won't see it in the actual editor, okay? Which is why it was so good to be able to do it here in Chrome to be able to see what we can get. So since we don't see it in the editor, we have to press preview. It comes up on our preview here. And here we have. Now all the functionality stays exactly the same, except now we have our little addition of uh, border radius and our box shadow to give it a little bit of a separation from the background and basically you can do that with just about any part of this um, you know so if you have any questions please let me know below if you find out that there's a better way to do this please leave a comment also below and if you like what you've seen here um, please subscribe so that i can give more information similar to this have a great day